Welcome to the project demonstration of sustainable smart organic farming using IoT and machine learning. So in this project we are using the three sensors to get the four parameters. So one is a rain sensor to detect the rain percentage that is 0 to 100 percentage and next DHC double one digital humidity and temperature. So from that we will get the humidity and temperature. These parameters will be given as input to the node MCU and the third sensor is soil moisture sensor whenever the water level is increases or decreases so it will provide us the signal of high and low. These four parameters continuously monitor by our node MCU and from there we are going to control the outputs respectively three relays. When the rain increases the relay will get switched on as to control the roof and the humidity increases the another motor will get switched on to provide the low humidity or high humidity controlling section and the next when the water level is increases automatically the motor will get switched off and the water level is less the motor the particular relay will get switched on so these are the monitoring and controlling and also parallelly the same data of the sensors will be uploaded to the thingspeak cloud platform so this is the thingspeak channel after login to the thingspeak uh, channel uh, ID and password is provided backside of this cardboard. You can just log into that and just click on this. So these are the previously data while uh, we have collected while the testing of this project. So it will be represented on this uh, graphical format and we can access this data from anywhere in the world directly. Whenever you want you can download that and after downloading the data you can erase the data also. While scrolling just I show just I showed like uh, scroll from between this graphs only don't touch on this blue bar as they interchange these graphs. So after your yeah, before demonstration if you want to erase the old data to get the new data and if you want to download the data in excel sheet format go to data import exports download the data so it will be downloaded in excel sheet and open that so open in excel sheet format so it consists of the first column is going to be the date and time second column is how many entries till now collected and the next is the humidity and temperature and the rain percentage and water level whether it is 0 or 1 so these are the details we are going to upload to the things speak continuously right after you took up the backup now go to channel settings now just do clear channel don't do any other options don't do a uh, delete channel clear channel once the channel got cleared now go to private view. I am repeating private view to check the live data graphical presentation, channel settings to clear the channel and next data import exports to download the data. Coming to the interfacing connections, we have interfaced this uh, input sensor at D0, D2, D3 and the output is like what D5, D19 and D12. So these are the interfacing connections to the node MCU as an input and output modules. And the next module is like this one is the breadboard to distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout the input and output modules. Just we are providing the 5 volts power supply from this adapter and from there we are distributing that to the input sensors and output relays. So before on the kits, the first step is we need to on the hotspot in your phone. For that go to hotspot settings of your phone. Change the hotspot name to project smart 47. So configure that to all our small letters. I mean repeating that all our small letters without any space without any capital letter and password should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, AB band should be 2.4 gigahertz. After changes successfully done on the hotspots, on the data, now log into the thing speak. Now you can on the power supply to this node MCU board. Right. Once you on that, now the system start reading the input sensors. Once, right, now it is low, that's why the relay gets switched on. Right. Now wait for 15 seconds. As the thing speak accept the data from the server for 15 seconds interval only. It won't take that for every one second. Right. And we can see that one device is connected. This is very important thing. So you can see the one device is connected. So meanwhile let us provide the input to the sensors. Right. So now if I provide any water input to that. Right. We can see the samples already arrived no list or the water droplets on this rain sensor so when it crosses the threshold value now this particular relay it should be done for the rain sensor same for the soil moisture sensor also just i'm pacing a tissue paper as to provide the moisture content right so when the moisture content increases automatically this particular relay gets switched off 
and come into the humidity also if you want to increase the humidity just we need to blow the hot air near this uh, humidity sensor right as you can see the humidity got increased and parallelly that particularly gets switched on right okay right so we can see the data is collected here when when you click on this dot we can see the humidity value along with the date and time so it rather is got changed Field one, field interchange. No need to worry about that. Just you can go with the output operation like that. And same thing is, don't do delete channel. Only download the channel. Uh, uh, data import export from. 